Get out YouTube. So something a bit different than my normal tridents and black pines and shinpakus. I do have an occasional odd out species. This is an olive. So this is an olive that um, probably got about 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago now. And you know, it's actually what I like to do with this olive is once in a while I actually defoliate the olive. Now that's just something I do. I don't know if other people do it. But I defoliated this in summer, and now I've got some nice, really small, cute little leaves on it. Quite small, and you can see that very, very small. This tree has a really great little trunk and really nice movement, and you can see the twigginess really developed quite nicely in this tree. Now, unfortunately, it is a little bit, um, what's, what is it, just a bit of a mess. Needs a bit of wire, needs, it needs to be culled a little bit, needs to be thinned out a little bit. And that's the intention of today is to just get into it and just thin it out a little and um, just thin it out a little, wire it up a little bit just to get it all a bit more clean and, and nice lines and so on. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give it a go today and see how I go. So with our leaves, I'll always use... Um, aluminium wire as well. Um, I won't use copper on this, um, but what, what you can do, I don't know, we'll see how we go with the camera, but you can see how this branch is overgrowing, growing over the top of that branch. you got a bit of, you know, these branches look a little bit dead, whilst they haven't got any um, new leaves on it. You know, we need to need to think of, hey, do we cut them off? Um, yeah, so a lot of branches crisscrossing each other as well, um, and just a lot of things out of place. So what I'd like to do is just open this up more a little bit, and try and get a fuller fuller canopy on it um, a nicely styled fuller canopy at the moment it seems to be making a bit more of a apical kind of shape and i wanted to actually expand a little bit more more looking more like a uh, you know uh, a decid well not this deciduous but more olive in nature a bit more broom style tree in nature um, so that's the plan like a lot of branches are crisscrossing each other when i just want to open it up and give it a bit more space so the only thing you can do really is wire this guy up. So I'm just going to go through and um, wire things up. But as always, look for similar, look for issues with the tree. Look for things that are, so in here, you'll probably, hopefully you can see in the close up that there's a little branch here that's really strong, but it's gone straight up. You know, I don't even want to wire that. I'm going to get that rid of those. So you just go through the tree and start to pick out things that you're definitely not going to keep. At the back here, there's some, you know, a few dead branches. So let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these. You know, olives are so strong and such good growers that, you know, you don't, within a growing season, that's all fully replaced and, and everything. So I just go through the tree first things first, just remove maybe dead or branches that go up. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Uh, and then I'm going to wire, I'm really, the intention of the day is to wire this up and space out the branches and try and get a fuller canopy, especially in here, in this area. I just want to get that bit more rounded shape and rounded canopy in here and we'll see how, how it comes up to see i treat the olives pretty much like my um, tridents i'd say um, very similar process um, to the tridents that's how i treat them you know other people can treat them differently but that's just how i do it uh, yeah so look for ugly branches stubby branches look for things that are dead um, cut them off because this will this will easily grow and replace everything so i'm just going to get stuck into it with some wire um, and i'll see how i go so here's what the tree looks like after i've finished wiring um, and positioning some branches in place i'm hoping you can see that i've actually increased the looks like there's a better canopy and it's more spread out and the top branches are not as pointy and wired up so yeah i'll check, just try and take you at a level view Maybe, maybe, maybe at that angle you can see a better tree. Um, hopefully, yeah, you can see what I've done. Wiring out a lot of the branches, using mainly 0.5, well, I mean 1.5 mil. Um, just wiring everything out, just like, pretty much I just treat the deciduous trees. Uh, very similar. But, um, there you go. Looking quite nice, I think. Trying to get the whole tree in a small shot. Without the birds screaming over me, there you go. So it's just a matter of wiring the tree, 
here's a little turn for you. So it's pretty much all the way around, three three dimensional, um, looking good. I think he now just has to fill out with a lot more foliage and just keeping the top under control um, should produce a nice tree. So that's what the base looks like. I'm gonna have a close look at the base. All right. Hope you enjoyed another video of mine guys and as always if you haven't subscribed please subscribe for notifications of new videos thank you